Hello, everyone. Welcome, welcome in to the Italian Country Girl. Today, I'm going to be making some guacamole dip. Um, something that is loved by some people and very simple to make. So I'm going to show you my version of guacamole dip. So please come in to my kitchen and let's get started. First, what you're going to need is four um, avocados and you're going to pit these and dig out their centers and put them in a bowl. Um, these are almost a little too ripe. This one is perfect, but this one is starting to um, push in a little too soft. Um, I just got them. You have to use them within a couple of days. Um, if they're really hard, um, wait just a little bit. But you want to be able to just kind of softly, you know, you can, you can kind of tell when they're a little bit soft. But this one really pushes in. So I'm going to go on and cut these up. This one may be a little bit darker because um, it needs to be used. I have a little trash bowl over here to put my pits in. But you can see there's a few little dark spots here. You can dig them out if you want. Um, it is up to you. Um, if they're too, too dark, sometimes I do dig them out. Otherwise, you just um, take a spoon and I just go around the edge of the avocado. And like I said, you need four avocados. I catch myself saying you need four guacamoles. <laughs> that is what uh, a friend of mine used to say. All right, there's one avocado. And now we're going to cut the second one. You just take your knife easily around it and it pulls apart really easy. They are usually a lot brighter green, but like I said, these are um, needing to be used. Um, you have to use the avocado pretty, pretty soon after it's picked. Unless, um, you know, it's hard. You don't want to use it if it's too hard. This is a simple little dip. Guacamole dip goes really well with Mexican dinner if you're making it. Or, uh, see, that one looks nice and pretty. That one's perfect. Um, but if you're, um, like, just want some dip, this is a nice dip, um, you know, to have in the fridge. Now it's perfectly normal um, when avocado sees light, it will get a little bit darker. So uh, in the fridge, your your dip could darken up a little bit. I had to learn that from a friend because I thought the dip was bad. I mean, the dip will go bad. It'll, you know, if you just let it set too long, anything will go bad. But um, the dip can darken up, and that's normal. Even if you buy like a guacamole dip at your local store it'll tell you the dip could darken all right let me get that off and this is our last avocado and you just dig out the pits and like i said just take a spoon and it comes out nice and easy okay <clears throat> now i have my save my trash bowl over there with my trash in it now I'm going to take some onion and you can take a small onion or a quarter of an onion depending on how much onion you want. So I'm just gonna take this onion right here and I'm gonna chop it up and add it to my avocados I have in this bowl. Um, it's kind of a, a personal thing is how much onion you put in. It depends on how strong of an onion taste you want. This is a pretty strong onion I per that I got, and so I'm just going to do just like a little bit of a quarter of it here. And I'm just kind of chopping it up into little pieces. This is something cool to take to a party if you're having like Super Bowl party or anything like that. Um, you just want to take some dip. This is good with tortilla chips. You can put them on some pita. 
Guacamole's good on pita. Like a little pieces of pita bread, you can get the pita chips. It's good on that too. Okay. <clears throat> That's pretty good right there. We add our onion. All right, we got our onion in here. Fling an onion everywhere. Okay, and now we need to put a fourth of a cup of freshly chopped cilantro. Um, I like to get this stuff too. There's like jalapeno, garlic, onion, cilantro, and they come already like cut up in um, a tube. So uh, four tablespoons is an equivalent to the fourth of a cup. So I'm gonna put some cilantro in here. Now, if you don't want as much, that's fine. This stuff is really good to use, I like it. It's a little less than four, I'm almost out. And then I'm gonna put, you have one small jalapeno. Seed it if you prefer less heat, okay? Leave the seeds in if you want more heat. I have some jalapeno pepper paste. So I'm just gonna use that. And I'm gonna put one tablespoon. Alrighty, and then I need a half a teaspoon of salt. And then you need the juice of two limes. So I have my limes and I'm gonna cut them this away. And I'm gonna squeeze my limes in here. You can squeeze it, um, the juice side up if you want. If you see a lot of seeds, that way the seeds don't go in there. second lime all right now you take a, a fork and you just kind of run through your avocado with the fork mushing it now the consistency that you want for this is all a preference, okay? If you like chunky uh, guac, you don't wanna run the fork through it too much. If you want it smoother, that is fine. Now I'm gonna take a spatula and just kinda chop this, like a choppy mix here and incorporate my onions and my cilantro. Now you can leave it like this if you want. And that's a more chunky guacamole. Um, <clears throat> so if you want it to be mushier, you can take a potato masher or anything like that. My youngest son is the one that really loves this. And he likes his just a little bit mushier without the big chunks in it. So I'm just gonna toss it around a little bit more. And then you're going to put a lid on this and set it in the fridge. I like to make it the night before and let it sit in the fridge overnight. So it sets up really, really nice um, and gets nice and cold and the flavors get to incorporate. Um, if you eat it too fast, it doesn't, the onions and jalapeno and stuff hasn't flavored it well. Now, once it's set overnight, you can always season with more salt if you think it needs it. We don't use a lot of salt, so a half a teaspoon of salt was plenty for us. And then you can, if you have some fresh cilantro, you can garnish it with fresh cilantro before serving it. If you want to put it in a, some kind of little container dish to serve in um, a, like as a dip on the table. Um, another thing you can add to this 
I leave it out because my son doesn't really care for it, is you can add a little bit of pico to it, um, you know, uh, and give it a little bit of a pico. But otherwise, there you go. That is um, guacamole dip. Uh, like I said, use some chips or some pita and you would be good to go. Um, hope you enjoy and uh, please come back again for our next video. Until next time, have a great day.